Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, a fourth year English and geography teaching major at the University of Passau, Germany. So happy to have you here on my channel. And today's video is going to be the one that was I'm pretty sure it was the most requested video ever on my Instagram, which you should follow by the way, it's at the study collection, which is a desk slash room tour of my study room, which I'm currently in. So I'm really excited to be filming this video today. So for context, I still live at home at my family's house because the program that I wanted to study was offered by the university in my hometown of Passa, so it made a lot of sense to just keep living at home and save a lot of money on rent and living expenses, which is why I've got my own study room and not a combined study bed and living room like it would be the case for a student apartment. So for reference, this room is about 12 square feet. That would be 129 square meters. And I started using it when I started high school. And then before I started college in 2018, I completely redesigned it to the interior that it has now. So after almost four years of studying and working in this room, I'm still so much in love with it. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna show you around. When you walk into the room, you first got this closet or cupboard to your right. I never know the correct name for it in English, so if you're a native speaker, please tell me in the comments what you would call this. On top, we've got some fairy lights and a picture from a high school commencement. And then in those drawers, I have some miscellaneous stuff on the right, my snack drawer, which is very important to me and always filled, and then most of my camera gear on the right. I'm not gonna open each of those because I haven't had the time to declutter these, but you get the point. Then above this, we've got a photo of Passau, which I took myself in 2019 and got printed and framed. And I just love it so much because it's so colorful and shows one of my favorite spots in my hometown. And then to the right behind the door, we've got a knob where I put my tote bags. This one is from the field trip to Austria last summer, which I got as a prize for finishing third in the field trip quiz. Then on the other side, we've got a ring light. And this wall is the only one in my room that's still empty. And I don't really know if I want to have anything there, like maybe a gallery wall or another Mapify map of an important place. Or if it's becoming too cluttered, like, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Moving on, there's this large and super comfy armchair with some blankets and pillows on it. I usually sit there when I'm quizzing myself on something or just taking a short nap. Now we're getting to the bookshelf and this is what sold this furniture set to me because this is basically two shelves in one and the front part can be moved to the side. I fell in love with that concept immediately because not only does it give me extra shelf space but it's also great to put stuff in the back shelf that I don't know where to put and it's hidden immediately. So obviously the two front shelves hold all the, well not all of them but most of the books I own that I read for fun. Top left, we've got non-fiction books, mainly biographies, self-help, and some history books. Then below that, there are English classics sorted by date of publication and by British slash American slash other authors. Below that is contemporary fiction, and then these are books that have yet to find their proper place. And then on the right, I've got my Nerdbugs plushies, all my German fiction books, and my journals and planners. Let me know in the comments if I should ever film a bookshelf tour specifically. Now, I'm not gonna roll these aside because honestly, the back shelves aren't filled up much, but to the left, you can see what it looks like. So here I've got books I borrowed from the library and need to return soon. Then these binders hold all my university stuff back from when I didn't have an iPad and had to print every single text. Green is for geography, blue is for English. And these are also university related folders, but more like admin stuff, paychecks, scholarships and such. On the shelf closest to me, we've got the textbooks I need most often. Top one is for English, some school textbooks, literature analysis guides, linguistics, and dictionaries. 
Below is the geography section and my condenser mic, which I'm using right now to record this. And then the lowest shelf is just for stuff I need all the time, like my iPad cases, laptop and phone stand, snacks, hand cream, and more. And way down there is my gimbal and my two MacBook charging cables. One of them came with the new MacBook, the other one I'd bought one year ago because my first one broke. So now I've actually got two and that's super convenient. And with that, we're finally getting to my favorite part of the room, which is my large desk. So this desk stretches from one wall to the other, which means it's about three meters long and about 80 centimeters wide or roughly 10 feet by 31 inches. My mom urged me to get a large desk for college and she couldn't have been more right, especially when I'm writing papers and have multiple books and sheets of paper spread on the desk. So I'm going to start on the left. We've got this container which has mostly stationary stuff but also a drawer for tech stuff like external hard drives, charging cables, etc. Then we've got a stable of scratch paper and instructions to some devices in this room. On top there is my printer and this one is from HP and it was a reasonable price. I'm really happy I have a printer at home and I will definitely bring this one with me when I move out for my masters because it saves me countless runs to the coffee shop. Then we've got this wall which holds some pictures and postcards. We've got my globe, my planner and my stationery holders. And by the way, I bought many of these things on Amazon and they're all linked in my storefront which is linked in the description box below. Then this clock you guys ask me about all the time is from Carlson, that's K-A-R-L-S-S-O-N, -S and I bought it via Wayfair. Next we've got my windowsill with all my plants and the fantastic view down to the forest. And now this is the spot you're most familiar with because I take all my desk photos on Instagram here. We've got my MacBook Pro on its stand, which is from Rain Design and also linked in my storefront. My Keychron K8 keyboard with German layout. My iPad Pro, Logitech mouse, my blue light blocking glasses, and then my big HP screen. Another thing that many of you have asked before, no, this is not a computer or a iMac. It's just a screen that I connect to my MacBook via HDMI cable and that is why it has Apple symbols on. The screen stands on a Calibri stand. This one is the walnut color, also available on Amazon. And I love it because it gives me some storage space beneath. So here I have my AirPods, iPad stand from Ikea, pencil case, HDMI cable and SSD where I store all my video footage on. And then we've got my Apple Pencil in its nimble stand from Uppercase, my Devoom D2 speaker, this cable organizer and my desk lamp, and of course my Mapiful map of Passau. And this is it. I hope you really like this little room tour. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more study tips and college life videos. See you in my next one. Bye.